good morning. It is Monday morning, start of a new week, and I'm trying to think if I have anything exciting to report, but not really. It's been quite very quiet around here. I, Halloween was very quiet. No trick-or-treaters, and the you know, weather's beautiful. All right, so I'm going to show you what I listed recently, and then the one item I sold over this weekend. I don't understand why business is so slow. It's fourth quarter, y'all. Okay, here goes. Okay, so um, these are some shoe buckles, mid-century era, although they have kind of a Victorian look to them, aren't they pretty? Uh, these are by, by Musi, which is like the the premier maker of mid-century shoe buckle, shoe clips. And uh, I've had several pairs of these before, but I've only had them in gold. I've never had them in silver before. Anyway, I um, listed those for $28. And then I have a... Uh, oh, and those came... I believe those came from my sister-in-law. You may not have seen those yet. And same with this Cameo. It's not set. Um, prices on these are just all over the place. I wasn't sure. I saw some that were listed for like $80 and some that were listed for... Ten dollars, but you know it is a real shell cameo. It is hand carved. I don't know the age on it. I suspect it's a little bit older, and the carving on it is pretty good. It's not, you know, the absolute most ornate, detailed carving I've ever seen, but it's not like the really simple, crude ones you see on the cheaper cameos. So somewhere in between. I priced it at twenty-eight. Just kind of grabbed a number out of the air, really. And uh, this is a signed Native American turquoise and silver pendant necklace. It is signed M.E. And I looked and looked. I only found one or two other pieces with this mark on it, and nobody identified who it was. And it's not in any of my databases, so. But it's very pretty. I listed that for um, 49 And then last is this. Um, turquoise ring. I think it's Zuni and not Navajo. Even though I usually think of these feathers as being Navajo. Um, this is signed. I said in the um, haul video, I said I identified it as Mike Simplicio, but it's not Mike Simplicio. It's Carmelita Simplicio. Uh, Mike Simplicio's mark is Mike. <laughs> I forgot. Anyway, um, I have that listed for 57 And then this is the one item that I sold. It's this kind of primitive mask. I don't even know really where this is from. It's probably Africa, but I saw some from Polynesia that looked kind of similar, so I wasn't really sure. And I got that at the flea market for $5, and I sold it for 35 And that's it for now this cool thing that bloomed in my garden. I had no idea it would do that. It started out looking like that little pod right there, and then it did that. It's not real big. Isn't it cute, though? This is just like a little succulent kind of ground cover that I have in here. So interesting. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning, and I'm going to show you what I listed yesterday and what I'm shipping off today. I hope this isn't getting too boring. <laughs> I, things have been really, really quiet around here. I have not done anything except work. <laughs> so, oh well. Okay, first up in the new listings we have this lovely little lithograph with hand tinted areas and this very pretty soldier, which someone suggested might be French. I think he could be French or possibly British. Probably a late 18th century, early 19th century era for the uniform and everything. I don't know how old this is. It looks pretty old if you look at the back. Um, I could not, I did an image search on Google and I could not identify what this print, what painting this print came from. I couldn't find another one like it. So anyway, uh, that is listed for $29. Um, I have a couple of rings. This lovely, 
antique cameo ring. I think it's probably Victorian. If I could just get it to focus, you could see how pretty it is. Uh, anyway, that one I listed for $68. And then this little Bell Trading Post turquoise ring. It does have a tiny chip. You can see it's not that tiny right there. Oops. Um, but it's sweet. And I listed that one for $27. And the last thing I have to show you is this is a piece of original art. My original art. And if I could ever get it to focus. There we go. Um, this is a, an antique Victorian little cabinet frame, which I have turned into an assemblage. I call it Shrine to a Glass Flower. <laughs> um, that's, I don't know. I wasn't 100% happy with how it turned out. I put a fairly low price on it because I just wasn't that happy with it. Um, anyway, that is listed in my Carol Lennox shop. The link for that shop is down below, and the price on that is $38. And here's what I'm getting ready to package up. We have this lovely chrysocolla and sterling silver ring, really heavy, interesting looking piece. That sold for $52. And this is a Whiting and Davis mesh, silver mesh bag, silver plated. And uh, that sold for 37 And those two are going to the same person. And then uh, this cool looking paperweight, interesting shape. Uh, that paperweight sold for 32 And then this silver plated spoon. It's kind of cool. It's got an arts and crafts very Victorian looking design on it and uh, the brand is Pearpoint that sold for twelve dollars that's plus shipping everything else is free shipping that is my shipments for today so here we are again TV news people across the street from us cop just drove by more TV news. I assume this has something to do with the shooting. Maybe they've arrested someone. So I guess I'll have to figure out what's going on. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. Got kind of a foggy day today. It's very nice. It's only supposed to get to 69 degrees today. That's uh, the coolest day we've had so far this year, or uh, this fall. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I listed yesterday and then what I'm shipping off today. Okay, so yesterday I listed this cool hand-carved elk antler cribbage board, and uh, I made some little pegs for it out of toothpicks because I it didn't have any, and uh, that I listed for seventy-eight dollars because I think it's pretty old. Um, it's a turquoise ring. Um, it's marked. Let's see if I can find the mark right there. It's marked um, Silver 95, which is an older mark. I think this is probably a mid-century modernist type ring. I listed that for uh, 45 And then this turquoise nugget necklace. Uh, I was pleased to discover that the silver beads are, in fact, sterling silver. And the hook is, too, even though it's not marked. Um, so I listed that for 29 and then last but not least is this adorable little sterling silver ladle. It is made by the Manchester Silver Company. You can see it's got that little, oops, it's got that little logo on it. It's a cross and a crown with an M on it. That's Manchester Company. It says sterling and um, the pattern is something rose, which came out in the 1930s. Uh, this came from my mother-in-law. She gave me a whole bunch of mostly silver plate, but a few sterling pieces, flatware. Um, this is the only piece I had in this pattern. 
and I listed that for 32 and those are all free shipping and these are the items I'm shipping off today this is a lovely Mexican sterling silver brass and copper oh dear my, my printer has decided after stalling for five minutes that it's going to print now it has been so troublesome lately I think I may have to get a new printer soon I just can't seem to get it to print well anymore replacing cartridges and you know, it gets to a point where you're spending so much money replacing components that you might as well just buy a new printer I hate to do that I like to repair things when I can just from an ecological standpoint but anyway this lovely brooch sold for a bargain basement price of $24 I can't believe it was so cheap yep and free shipping and then the second thing is this um, Irish linen tablecloth it's got a Greek key pattern it's a smallish tablecloth not a great big one but it sold for $34 this time of year all my table linens start selling I love it I have so many table linens oh my gosh I've got so much good morning it is Thursday morning and I'm going to show you what I listed yesterday and then I'll show you what I'm shipping off today okay first up we have this brass ashtray mid-century modern with the fish stamped on it and um, this is made by Schaefer and it's clearly a German, well, I guess it could be Swiss, but it's in German, Austrian, I guess it could be. But I haven't been able to find out anything about it, but it says Schaefer Honderbeit, which is handmade, I believe, in German. There it is. Uh, I found a couple of other pieces, but not much information. I uh, listed that for 27 and these are all free shipping. And then I have this Gorham. Um, sterling silver teaspoon and it is in the Portland pattern which has these nice little bell flowers it has a monogram of a C on it and these bewildering little marks that I have encountered before but I forgot and I did all this research only to realize it's not English hallmarks at all even though it looks like English hallmarks it's Gorham um, this pattern was first issued in 1904, but um, I it, it was very popular, and so it was issued forever, like till the 1990s, I think. Um, but this is an old piece of silver from my husband's family, so it probably dates to like the 19 teens or 20s. It's pretty old. I listed that for 22. Uh, this necklace, more research on it, and it is Tibetan, in fact. That was my first instinct. But I was a little confused by this lettering, but it turns out I don't know exactly what these characters mean, but I have seen these necklaces referred to over and over as OM pendants, O-H-M, like, you know, OM. Um, so it's something mystical, Buddhist, I don't know. Um, this is not sterling silver, but I think it is some kind of a low-grade silver alloy, Tibetan silver, um, and little turquoises. It looks really old. I listed that for 45 And then this honking sterling silver brooch. This thing is so big. I love it. This came from my sister-in-law, Amelia, in her last batch, the one that I lost the footage of the haul video on. So I don't think you've seen this. And this I listed for 41 because it's not marked, but it is silver. I tested it, and it's 29 grams of silver. Quite a nice... I just think it's beautiful. Okay, that's And here is what I am getting ready to package up and ship out today. Um, first, we have this absolutely gorgeous paperweight. I think this is one of the prettiest paperweights I've ever had. It's a scramble paperweight with some latticino. It's almost certainly Murano. You can tell by that smooth, very smooth base and just the overall quality of it. And that I sold for $65. Uh, ah! Oh, great. Just dropped a ring. Oops, where'd it go? Okay, I lost it. There it is. For God's sake. Okay. 
And then next up we have this uh, turquoise ring with the interesting black matrix in it. And um, this one is, I think, not signed. And it sold for 45 No, is that right? 52 Sold for 52 And then this brutalist ring, which is silver plated, and that sold for 18 Um, That's been too long for all these. I can't remember what I paid for them. I probably paid about 15 for that one. Paperweights normally I try to get them for 10 or less. Sometimes for a really special one I'll pay a little bit more. So I probably paid 10 or 15 for that one. And that I'm pretty sure I did not pay very much for that. I don't remember. Well, oh well. Good morning. It is Friday morning and I'm going to show you what I listed yesterday and what I am shipping off today. Uh, first off is this hand carved soapstone statuette. I believe in the haul video I may have identified this as Native American. Oh, I could not be more wrong. This is Egyptian. This is the Egyptian falcon god Horus. That thing on his head is a crown, and it's it's pretty um, distressed. It has a few tiny chips and a lot of little dings, but I think it's pretty old. And I listed that for thirty-five dollars, I think. And then I have this is an a mode art brooch, also known as Arthur Pepper. It is signed Art A R T. Beautiful art glass stones. Uh, I just love his work. And that I listed for 45 And then this little lace fragment brooch. I sold one of these once before. I didn't sell it for a lot. I don't know really exactly how old it is, but it's very cool. And this lace, I don't know if you can see it because it's so tiny, but those stitches are just microscopic. So anyway, I listed that for 19 Those are all free shipping. Uh, what I'm shipping off today are these absolutely gorgeous, very large sterling silver Native American earrings. And I'm um, not sure, what, let's see, are these agate striped orange? Yeah, I think I, I think I was surmising that they were agate. They look like agate. Anyway. Uh, those sold for 32 plus shipping. What you doing? Getting into trouble? There we go. Hi, baby. Look at your little face. All right. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> have to take a little muffin break. Uh, and these are these cool old magnets used in the classroom big bar magnets in a wonderful primitive box, probably dating to 1920s, because uh, I couldn't find any mention of this company past 1930. Um, and those uh, were 35 free shipping. I believe I paid $5 for those at the flea market, and these I think came from a family member, one of my sister's-in-law or my mother-in-law. So we're trying out a new place tonight. It's just opened. It is Filipino Soul Foods. Just a little neighborhood joint. But I'm excited. I don't know much about... Oh, there you are. Hi. I don't know too much about uh, Filipino food, so we'll find out. So I got so excited about eating my food that um, I didn't show it to you when it got here. But this is like a potato dish. It's got some spicy tomato sauce and goat cheese and watercress. And it was really, really good. I'm taking that home. And then this is dessert, which we've also already cut into. It's um, banana bread. Yum. And Rob had some lovely shrimp, which I didn't show you. <laughs> Good morning. It's Saturday morning. I'm all on my own because Rob went to some bridge tournament where he's directing. And uh, he's going to be gone all day. So if the grocery shopping is going to get done, I have to do it by myself. <laughs> we both hate grocery shopping so much. Neither of us wants to do it by ourselves, so we have to do it together. 
So anyway, I'm going to show you what I listed yesterday and what I'm shipping off today. Uh, first up are these lovely hand-painted porcelain beads. Probably Chinese or Japanese, mid-century era. They're kind of a faux cloisonne because they have the gold outlines around the flowers. They're really pretty. All Each one of those hand-painted. Um, that I listed for uh, 35 and then this is a it's I thought it was sterling silver but the mark it was so tiny but I finally deciphered it it's actually 835 silver which is going to be European and it's older and it's signed uh, WH I think is what it's signed but I couldn't figure out who that was but it's a beautiful really beautiful chain with a matching bracelet and that I listed for 46 and this teeny tiny little sterling silver reindeer this came from my sister-in-law and that I listed for 27 and it's I believe the hallmark is German um, it is 925 but I could not figure out who the maker was it had some German hallmarks but then the maker's mark I just couldn't figure it out it was a little smudge <laughs> and then finally this fork bracelet French uh, Boulanger is the maker Boulanger something like that uh, Edwardian to Victorian era um, of course the bracelet was probably made you know maybe in the 1970s or something could be just about any time but the fork is old anyway um, and I listed that for 27 also okay what I'm shipping off today is first off is this beautiful porcelain box with the gold trim very Victorian looking over the top and it plays the song evergreen so it's not too terribly old but it's really really pretty um, and uh, that is going to a buyer in Norway the price is $36 and the shipping is $48 I don't know why it's so high. It is actually pretty heavy, the box is, so. But we'll see. Hopefully I'll be able to refund some of that shipping because that seems excessive, but usually the calculated shipping works pretty well. Um, and second up is this reverse carved crystal ring with a little image of a pagoda. And it's set in sterling silver. And I bought a whole big lot of these at the flea market. I think I had seven of them this last time. I've bought them before. They're they're good regular sellers. I sell them for twenty eight bucks a piece plus shipping. This one is plus shipping. And I have one left after this one. And then the third item is a blue silk shirt, which I've already got packaged. You can kind of see what the pattern is, but I'll put I'll put in a picture so you can see it. Um, and that's sold for twenty four. <laughs> 